Good evening friends, followers, channel members. Hope you are all well. Hope you've had a great weekend as well. Well, it's been um, a long weekend as, uh, as far as I'm concerned. I'll tell you more about that later. I am in desperate need of you guys to keep me company tonight and desperate need of you guys to keep me awake tonight. Uh, again, more on that later. But um, short flight this evening. Wanted to get a live streaming because it's been a while since we've done one. I think the last one was on Friday maybe. Um, but um, there's two, well, there's there's more than two. There's actually quite a few uh, new scenery has been released within the last uh, week or so. Uh, this one released, I think it may even have been released today. So that's Girona in, um, in Spain, just a little bit north of Barcelona. So we're going to take a flight today from Girona and we're going to head out over to Pisa, where we've also got new scenery. Uh, now, Pisa is an airport, of course, we've been before on um, the channel, but never before with uh, some decent scenery so really looking forward to that because we are showing off some new scenery as well i thought we'd probably best do this flight with a little bit of daylight so we are on live weather but we're not on live time for obvious reasons the plan is we should probably get into pisa just as the sun's starting to drop down so hopefully that will be quite a nice effect as uh, as well so welcome on board everyone the operational flight plan is in the chat on YouTube. If you are watching that, welcome to our Twitch viewers as well. If you're watching on Twitch, uh, so uh, Slim Games One Two Three. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the early follow. So good evening, Yardi, Simba, Nick, Jayhog, DC, or oh, Jayhog. I bet your weekend's been long too. Uh, in fact, Jayhog, I bet you're still hungover. Doctor Magic. Good evening, uh, Mantoga Daz. It has been a while since uh, managed to catch a live stream. So really glad you're here for that. Aaron, Jason, as well. Danny, l gl glad you like the music, my friend. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice playlist, this one. Jang Chang Music, good uh, evening. Rattlesnake Aviation, I love that name. 747 Dan, yeah, GSX is providing all of the uh, the ground services and things like that that, uh, that you can see. So yeah, Sim with Elliot, good evening to you as um, as well. And Ian Heslington, hi from Manchester. Love Manchester, of course, my, uh, my local. Uh, Dark Fury, good evening to you. Uh, Dark Fury, my MOC and HD's MOC as well. HD, I don't know if HD's going to be around tonight. He is uh, upgrading his PC, God bless him. And we all know what his patience is like, so um, I think we should probably pray that that's, uh, <laughs> that's all going well. Should we have a little look at... Um, at the uh, at the airport in question, and Adi Presets is in the house. Hey, Adi! So this is of course your Adi Presets Airport, uh, Girona. Really looking forward to uh, having a little look around this. So let's just take our drone camera out. We can see we've got loads of traffic. This is Vats in traffic as well, uh, by the way. So. Um yeah, no, no statics, which I commend you guys for because um, we just don't need statics, I think. I think statics in uh, sim airports now just don't need it. There's so many add-ons if you want it, uh, including the FSLTL recent live traffic uh, that will already add them. So we really, uh, if you want statics, that's fine. But obviously, like uh, myself and many other people when flying on VATSIM, we, uh, we don't need it. So... Uh, yeah, uh, lots of great clean airport taxi wear lines and taxi signs. Something very neat. And uh, I'm presuming when I say there's no static there are a couple of light aircraft, that doesn't bother us. It just means that the main uh, main gates and things aren't uh, aren't impeded. So. Um, Christian says your default scenery for <laughs> well, you know what you need to do, Christian. <laughs> you need to go and get get yourself uh, get yourself an upgrade. Um, so I don't know this airport a a in real life at uh, at all. So I'm literally just being amazed by by what I can see. Really, um, I love, however, I think the control tower here. Lots of fine work on that control tower because that's not exactly a bog standard looking control tower either, is it? Um, so yeah, really, uh, really nice to see. And I bet as I'm just getting a little bit closer here, I'm going to be able to nip in and well, let's see if I can control my camera correctly. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh look at that. <laughs> um, and I know Vatsim controllers now. If a scenery is available that's got some decent looking, uh, it's got a decent tower in it, they'll actually sit in the tower, uh, really to give that sort of uh, realistic view. If um, if you like. Uh, Tomaso says that uh, Jerome is my home airport, so happy finally someone, someone's finally made scenery for it. Uh, well, Tomaso, you can probably uh, testify to its uh, its reliability. Now, I'll have a little look in... 
in and around some of the buildings as well. Again, as much as I love the internals in a lot of the buildings, I don't expect uh, devs to go overboard because they're just empty frame rates. But uh, we've obviously seen bridging simulations do go that extra mile. But uh, having said that, once we've got uh, a little bit further on, yeah, there you go. Um, here we go. This is this is the interior that I know some of you guys are uh, are after. Uh, oh, and sit outside on the deck there and uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the Spanish sunshine. So lovely. Um, let's just head out the other side. Now you may notice quite a lot of lorries just here. I believe that is my VFR. Uh, Latin VFR traffic mod that's actually causing that. Um, so it kind of looks like uh, all the HDV drivers have gone on strike and created a blockade. Ignore that. <laughs> that's my mod that's uh, that's doing that. Uh, Jet 2 holidays. Of course, now I should probably point out that this airport is used primarily at the moment uh, by low-cost carriers other than EasyJet, <clears throat> including the uh, the Irish airline just sat right there. Um, so let's just have a look at some of the surrounding area as well, which I know they uh, they do. So I believe is this DHL? Yeah, lots of DHL uh, lorries. We can see that. Oh, and rent a car as well. So after we've landed, we can go and uh, go and grab a uh, go and grab a vehicle. Loads of DHL lorries. A little FedEx as well thrown into uh, into the background. Um, and it's the fact that they've got all of the actual signage on. Um, on on the uh, on the hangers, I think that is what uh, what helps to make it. And of course, it's stuff like that that devs have to put effort into. I have to uh, find out what's there, and uh, yeah. But a quick uh, quick look as well, because we're departing from Girona. I should probably uh, say that this airport is uh, not a challenge. That's the wrong word, but. Uh, probably a, a fun airport to fly into because just look at the terrain in the background it's the kind of airport where you're not just going to, particularly if you're coming in from the north, you're not just going to be able to bang get straight down and uh, in, you're going to have to plan that descent and just think about it a little bit because, uh, well, you've got to avoid uh, these things in uh, in the background so, yeah, really, uh, really really neat so, with all that, we will um we will get going. Lots of uh, people flying with us today as as well, I see. Yeah, Jet 2, Jet 2, Jet 2. <laughs> They're everywhere, aren't they, Jet 2? Awesome. Won't be long as well before I'm sure GSX makes a custom profile for uh, for this airport. Great. Right, let, um, let's get inside and... Uh, and start setting up. So as I've just said, the operational flight plan is pinned in the chat. Let's see, are we, we should be departing in a little bit. My frame rates have just uh, seemed to tank a little bit. Not quite sure what's going on there. They were fine when I was outside the uh, the Phoenix. We'll see what happens. Let's just have a look then. Operational flight plan. So we can see we've got uh, just over 14 tons of passengers. Cost of so four. Quite a low cruise flight level today. Flight level 300. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's all fine with our plug fuel showing at around about 5.1, uh, yeah, 5.1. Let's just uh, check the mores we're going down. That looks fine. Yeah, we shouldn't be, uh, we shouldn't have to, uh, any terrain really um, for us today to uh, concern ourselves with. Right, in terms of fuel, uh, oh, hang on a second, let me just go back just to check out the... Uh, the weather as predicted. Here we go. Uh, yeah, gorgeous weather. Fantastic. Uh, weather brief as well, just double check this. We've got destination is um, Pisa, of course. Currently, Kev, okay, 20 degrees, 1019. Um, and forecast is, uh, well, not, not, nothing's really changing until tomorrow looking at that. Um, so, yeah, no reason why we can't get in. Uh, let's just scroll down to the bottom, check out the en route weather, see what that's uh, see what that's showing. Uh, oh, actually, we're escaping the uh, embedded cumulonimbus clouds. There didn't look to be any clouds really in the uh, outside when we were doing the, the kind of airport walk around. So that looks good as well. Right, in that case, what fuel we're we going to take? Let's tell the guys. We'll go ahead and load oh, five and a half tons, I think. Um, no, I'll tell you what. I'll go, I'll go five point six. I'll go 5.6 tons overall, uh, just because there is a little bit of traffic uh, in the skies tonight, and as we've seen on the apron. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take 5.6 tons, which overall is about 1.7 tons extra. 
Uh, right, so I'm going to go ahead and just start just exporting because that uh, that kind of takes a while anyway. So I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll request boarding requested. Boarding. Oh, frame rates seem to have just magically uh, come back. That's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, get those turned off and get the APU on. One, two, three, and ding. There we go. Uh, so this is obviously a aircraft in its turnaround stage. It would be for this time of day. Everything's uh, already done, checked, clean, and we're uh, we're happy. Uh, in fact, one thing I'm just going to check. Just check the TCAS is where it should be. Yep, that's fine. All right. Well, let's go and start setting up the box and things. So onto our Atsu and AOC. Init flight. Init data request. Get that information in. Um. Straight away, I can see that the gamblers are already at it with the uh, with the easy points. <laughs> so is Nick losing everything again? Um, yeah. So the, the the easy points are new to the channel. Only reintroduced last week. They're awarded every 15 minutes. Um, and if you're watching, you'll get one point every 15 minutes. If you're chatting, you'll get a few more. And of course, you get uh, more points for any donations or subscriptions or channel memberships that you. Uh, that you undertake during the uh, during the live stream, right? And uh, estimated time on route one hour and one minute, so that's fine. Let's go to our data page, uh, IRS. We've got our three nav greens and aircraft status. Yeah, we've got the right engines and the correct air cycle. So get the unit requested. Right, is that APU up and running? Indeed, it is. Give it a, a second just before the passengers start coming on board. So let me now go ahead to uh, the Phoenix app and we'll start um, with the mass and balance. Uh, what are we doing? We're loading 5.6 tons of fuel. That's the one. Load our aircraft. Go. Right, so the alternate tonight, uh, the India Papa X ray flight number. This is not a real world flight, guys, either. Um, so we're using our default call sign tonight, which is Alpine 34 Alpha Mike. Cost index is a good question. What is it? <laughs> it's four. Okay, ah, we're on. Uh, we're doing uh, pilots boarding starting. Ultra realism tonight. Uh, so, our cost index is four. Ground temperature is eight. What's the tropo? Is 3605. Oh, actually, I'm quite happy to leave that. There's only a couple hundred feet difference in there. Go ahead and grab the uh, grab the winds. Sounds fine. Uh, Poco, do I use a VAT sim? Uh, asks on Twitch. Yep, absolutely. In fact, we are on um, we are on VAT sim right uh, right now, actually. So, yeah, this will will be a uh, will be a VAT sim uh, will be a VAT sim flight. We go. That's the uh, winds done. We'll just clear the scratch, and then we'll put in the cruise flight level today. Flight level three hundred, and it's uh, oh, boarding starting. That's three eight zero. I don't want that. Three hundred. Uh, temperature is minus forty three. There we go. Good. Okay. Let's uh, have a look at our flight route tonight then. Think should be able to uh, start the passengers boarding as well. That's been on long enough. Let's get the paps uh, turned on. There we go. So looking to depart runway zero one, and that's on the Bagger Six Golf departure. And then at the other end, runway zero four right, Zulu, on the Kona three Lima. Kona one three Lima. So your crew has boarded, and we come in via Jesse. I like waypoints. I've got easy names. Operational flight plan says 388 miles, 390 miles, that's fine. Just do a gross uh, error check then. Now we've got this uh, on. Let's have a look. Yeah, departure looks like the charts I was studying prior to the flight. Uh, and the arrival looks good. Also, wonderful. Pop that back. 
Okay, uh, read that page. Let's uh, bring up the charts and have a quick look. See what uh, what we've got to play with. Uh, so, what have we got? The uh, Girona VOR, Golf India Romeo. We'll just hard chew on that. Turn those on as well whilst I'm here. Don't think we need anything else. Actually, yeah, we can put the bag of VOR as well. Bravo Golf Romeo. And we just put those in in case. I don't know, we lose GPS for some reason, we have to go back to flying in Cessna, Cessna mode. Uh, Dark Fury says leave right there alone. <laughs> Passengers boarding starting. Hey Yardy, hey Eastbirds, it's good to see you my friends. Okay, that's good, right, let's go to the init B. Have we got a preliminary load sheet? Ah, we do. So, we've got a zero fuel weight of 58.2 and a zero fuel weight CG of 30.6 Fuel alternate 1.2 Right, fuel planning then we're taking 5.6 tons, the aircraft. Is that going to be enough? Sure it will be. 5.2. Bang on. So that's given us an extra 11 minutes, 400 kilogram extra takeoff weight of 63.6. Estimated takeoff weight CFG is 29.2. Hey Ahmed, uh, you're here for the weekly digital versus dark battle. <laughs> Who cares about the flight? <laughs> oh, they they battled that out on um, on Sunday, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, oh, are the passengers coming. Oh, been brought by bus. How wonderful. Uh, departure performance. I only I can't see the passengers. I can just see the shadows look as they're coming up the stairs. It's oh, there they are. I mean. It's not cold. You look like you're dressed for winter. Uh, let's see. We're departing runway one. Uh, dry flaps one. No. Off. Off. That takeoff weight 63.6. Um, below maximum takeoff weight. And CFG 29.2. Now we're going for full length departure as well tonight. Uh, I think that might even be all that's available to us. Yeah, there we are. Andy Finley is celebrating eight months of channel membership tonight. Andy, thank you so, so much for your, uh, for your kind support during uh, during that time. Good to have you on board tonight, Andy. Right, 135-141-40. Let's have a quick look at Sim Smart for our thrust reduction, etc., and then our engine out procedure. Refueling truck is on its way. See, this is Please something GSX. Please don't GS load aircraft uh, until the fuel truck arrives and asks to do it. This is something GSX does backwards as well, isn't it? It um, it brings the fuel truck after the passengers have gone on. Now, there's nothing technically wrong with that. There's procedures in place to allow that. But some airports don't allow it, but you would have thought the fuel truck would have come first. Anyway. Hey, Danny Rubble! Good evening. Hope you're, may hope you're well, my friend. Let me see. So, 1403, 1403, yeah, that's all fine. Let's have a look at the engine out procedure, non standard. Yeah, I thought it might be given the terrain that surrounds us. Uh, so, at Girona, 12 miles, make a right turn back to the Girona VOR. Okay, right, we're gonna have to force the aircraft, I think, then to make a right turn, aren't we? Uh, so, just get some Passengers situational awareness on this. Straight out, right turn, and then back. Yeah, okay. So, let's go ahead and pop that in our secondary flight plan. Uh, 
So after Girona we'll uh, carry on, so the place will base is on Girona. The track is zero one four and a distance of twelve miles. After that, we'll just turn towards the east to make sure it's a right hand turn. So, place bearing distance uh, zero one, track zero nine zero. Your truck is in position. Just a couple of miles, then back to Girona, VOR. Enter the hold. Inbound is one nine five left turns. I love how you guys just entertain yourselves while I set the fly up, flight up now. <laughs> uh, so, that's fine. And then after that, we're going to come back into. Girona. Arriving on the ILS 01. Or not. Is there only an ANAP procedure available? Oh wow, well arriving here then, that makes it even more fun if that's the case. Uh, so look at the approach. Ah, yeah, there's only an ANAV approach to runway 01. Oh. oh, and look at all the terrain here. We're going to have to do an arrival into uh, Girona, aren't we? Oh, this is a really exciting airport. Oh, wonderful, really neat stuff. Okay, so that'll be the uh, ANAV we'll go on, absolutely. 01. Um, no star and no veer. We'll set that up. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there we go. So, straight out. Right hand turn, 12 miles back. And then we'll just, uh, if we needed to, we just vector ourselves out back into the uh, to the Arab approach. Oh, lovely! Yeah, Nick, it's your kind of uh, your kind of approach, that isn't it? <laughs> uh, I think someone's just shut the doors a bit prematurely. Let's just uh, go back. There we go. Self-loading cargo still saying he's got 50 passengers to go. <laughs> Uh, I do appreciate you're in favour of an arrival into Girona. If only I had got the time and energy, I could have done the return tonight, but <laughs> that will not be there. I'll be amazed if I'm still awake when we come into land. I'll be like, what, be like those pilots that just overshot the, re, uh, shot the airport by 300 miles because they were asleep. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, right, good. That's, uh, that's all loading again. Right, any ATC knocking around? I no. Okay, that's uh, that's no problem. That's absolutely fine. So, we are uh, we're all set then. Let me just uh, get that ready to go on Unicom, and our initial climb then with no ATC is going to be uh, flight level one hundred. Okay, lovely. Mantoga, Daz, you've still not tried an Anav approach yet. Oh, you're gonna have to come and do one with us one night. Right then, guys, let's uh, let's do the brief. Uh, see, Dark, you didn't want me to uh, badmouth Ryanair, but they seem to be uh, impregnating all the other aircraft at the minute. So um, yeah, that's that that's not good. If you are coming into Vatsim, just check out a uh, a Vatspy map or something like that. Make sure you don't spawn in on on top of somebody else. Uh, so let's uh, let's do the brief. I can uh, just quickly bring up the weather for you guys, and uh, you can check that out. Um, where is it? Meta. Just update that. Yes. So we've no eighties to get. Uh, wind is at zero one zero at three. Oh, such a light headwind. Just a nice little easy headwind as we uh, as we depart. A few clouds, two thousand two hundred feet. Uh, Q and H is one zero two. Zero temperature eighteen with a two point sixteen, so no concerns with the weather as we uh, as we depart. Let's just double check that Q and H is one zero two zero. That's fine. Um, weather on route, nothing to uh, 
note really there, and weather for the arrival, nothing really to uh, concern us there either. The aircraft type A320, full serviceable, with the exception of the weather radar, and we should have uh, absolutely fine uh, no performance issues. No, no times for our departure, threats to be aware of our new airport for us, a little unfamiliar, so just make sure we're not uh, taking any wrong turns, the taxis we'll see in a moment isn't really a difficult one so it's quite short actually so that's a potential little threat as uh, as well terrain 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 well just have a look at this picture here we can see we've got terrain to the west of the airport we've also got a little bit of terrain as well just to the um just to the north uh, northeast and east of the airport you see getting up there to about 1700 feet so worth uh, bringing that into uh, into the brief so yeah terrain is the the main uh, the, the main threat um and our departure route there you can, you can see just keeps us uh, keeps us clear of that basically if anything goes bang and we literally fly into Cessna mode and lose all instruments and anything like that we need to fly east and get ourselves safe look at the MSA as well as we depart MSA is 9600 feet uh, but then it does um, it, it does drop to, to 4600 as we start heading towards uh, Bagur other big threat, huge, huge threat. I am absolutely shattered. Pretty certain I'm not uh, fit to fly, to be honest, if, uh, if we were in the real world. So, yeah, being completely tired, um, having been up until 3.30 a.m. This, uh, this morning and a very busy night last night. More on that later on. Uh, so, yeah, so it's, a, it's a serious threat. And pilots will bring this into the brief if that's the kind of thing. So they'll speak to their co-pilots and, uh, and say, look, just keep an eye on me and be a little bit extra vigilant because I'm feeling a little bit under weather, things, uh, things like that. Uh, right, so that's the... Um, that, that, that's the threat. So let's have a little look at the taxi and how we're expected to do this. So we are parked stand five, I think. I've not got any signs or anything like that. I'm guessing because they're not there in the real world. Are we to stand five? Do you know what? I'm, I'm just going to kind of cheat then, and uh, we, we could kind of do the uh, do a little bit of the uh, of a walk around, uh, shouldn't we? So let's just check before we do that. Uh, we we'll do the walk around flow as well. The nav lights, that's fine. Uh, Cumulus pressure, that's fine, and the laps are up speed brake is retracted and parking brakes are on let's uh, have a quick walk around just to see where uh, where are we yeah there we go stand five quick uh, quick walk around uh christian also confirmed that we are stand five thank you christian uh right that was quickest walk around ever and uh, and we're done uh so yeah stand five let's bring those charts back up and uh, yeah, so I'm going to push back facing north then, and we'll taxi out on uh, Golf, Golf 4, Tango, Echo, hold at Echo 4, full length departure at runway 01. Um, so the uh, length of the taxi means we're not going to be doing a single engine taxi either, we'll just get everything started right, uh, right from the off. We are going to um, climb straight out on the SID, no department 2 departure, initial climb is going to be flight level 100, first turn is to the right with a speed restriction of 215 in that turn, uh, let's just go and check what was uh, green dot. 213, ooh, oh, should we be naughty? Uh, oh, we don't need to be naughty at all, I'm thinking it was over it, no it's not, see I told you I was tired, yeah 213, let's just go ahead and preset that. There we go. So, fly green dot speed till we reach that first turn. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how we're gonna uh, how we're gonna fly the uh, the departure straight out. Autopilot on from the off. Emergency brief and standard Airbus emergency brief and engine out procedure as we've already discussed. It's non-standard at uh, 12 miles DME from Girona. We'll make a right turn back to uh, Girona VR where we'll hold. Uh, we'll come back into land here as well. We've got an r -nav approach to come back in and we're already taking off below the maximum landing weight so that's no issues either. And we've also got fantastic weather. Great. So, we, I think, are now done and... All good to go. Start running through some final checks, then we'll get the uh, get the checklists underway. Hey, Mike. Yeah, it was SP. That's right. Uh, not speed, no. Green dot speed, clean speed. Hi, Gavin. All the passengers are on board and we're ready to go. I'll bring you a cup of tea after. Why have I turned that off? off? 
Yeah, could be one of them nights. Mike, you're making me second guess myself now. Yeah, clean speed. 213. Yeah, so yeah, S speed's 189. I don't need to fly that slow. Couple of other final checks. Just now awaiting that final load sheet. Um, let me just see how far away is our pushback time. Four minutes. Okay, shouldn't be shouldn't uh, shouldn't be too long at uh, at all. What's our system uh, issue? No, cap two and up. That will most likely write itself and sort itself out. Ugh. Right. So I'm just waiting for the uh, just waiting for the final load sheet to uh, to come through. To be honest, we can probably start pushing back because I can't imagine that's going to be uh, too uh, too long before that comes. So uh, we'll double check that when we're on the taxi. Something some real airlines uh, some airlines doing in, uh, in the real world as well. Funnily enough, EasyJet don't do this. I think British Airways do. Um, JLD, thank you for uh, thank you for the follow on on Twitch. Uh, so Cal, the self-loading cargo sound pack that I have is one that I custom made. Um, I do have it available uh, to the channel members as a, as a thank you to uh, to their support. But yeah, it's um, one that I had spent quite a bit of time uh, time making up. Right, GSX, I need to get rid of the fuel truck as per usual. So let's just uh, reset the position that gets rid of them. Give it another 30 seconds. GSX will sort itself out, and then we'll. Uh, Start. Start pushing back. Let's try. There we go. So let's request um, pushback. We'll let Menzies uh, do the pushback. I think. Yeah. Here they are. Okay. Let's uh, flick on over to. Uh, to Unicom then. Yeah, I receive that, mate. Yeah, we still got a, a bit to go yet on the approach before we uh, we get to final. So okay, plenty of uh, traffic already on there. Right, copy preparation then. Aircraft access has been completed. Fuel quantity is five five six zero. Oh, that lovely accent. Uh, five five six zero kilograms and balance seatbelt signs are on. Idea soon. Our green barrow is one zero two zero. That's four hundred feet. Need that low cheek, guys. Well, the ground crew are ready to go. So let's uh, let's make that call on Unicom. Girona traffic. Good evening, Alpine three four Alpha Mike. Stand five, pushing back, facing north. And the Alpine 3 uh, actually, I, I'm, I don't know your cost but uh, the Alpine in front of me, could you just delay your pushback for one minute because I'm going to taxi out shortly. Uh, Roger, we'll wait for the aircraft to pass behind uh, from on stand 5, Alpine 3 for Alpha Mike. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, so we'll just hold that for a second. Let's just run the before start checklist then. So, um, our parking brake is on. Takeoff data we've done, checked, and is confirmed. Windows are closed. EFB and phones are turned off. And the, uh, well, the phone's turned off. We should have the EFB in flight mode. I can't be bothered to faff around with finding that. Um, Doors are uh, not yet closed and armed. No, that's because the beacon light's not come on just yet. I'm doing this before I did the flow. That's the issue. So beacon light should uh, beacon light should come on, and then we just check that. Engine one two five gas. Gen X seven six echo one and texting one with the one. That's the guy behind me. Yeah. So yes, we've got the. Transponder is uh, set. And uh, green. Roland traffic right at 2406 taxi behind the uh, Shamek to runway 01. Try that before start checklist again, shall we? So, uh, parking brake is on, takeoff data is confirmed, windows are closed, EPM phones turned off, fly mode, etc. Doors are closed and armed beacon light is on. Still not got that low cheap. Let's have a quick look outside, shall we? Ah, oh, there's the Jet 2, there's the Ryanair. Where's all this traffic come from? Looks good though, doesn't it? I bet this is a busy... <laughs> this must be uh, the busiest Girona has ever been. Uh, Daz, is uh, First Officer George assisting tonight? Oh, I hope not. A uh, pilot blaster on Twitch says you tried your own today, found it killed the FPS. How have I find it? I'm finding it absolutely fine, to be honest with you. Um, there was a moment where the FPS dropped. Not quite sure why that was, but um, yeah, it seems absolutely fine now, as you uh, as you can see. Right, we're uh, we're now cleared for the push. So I'll just make that call again. And now three four Alpha Mike stand five at Girona, pushing back now, facing north. Uh, continue the push. Uh, nose to the left, tail to the right. That's the one. Uh, Power blast. There shouldn't be anything you need to do with regards to uh, after the install. No, should just uh, just work out the box really. Zero uh, on traffic. Left on the nine 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 one two. Anyone on final for runway zero one currently? Oh, we've still got the uh, GPU. Uh, oh yeah, come on, ground crew, do your job. Okay, we're still on the uh, on the approach right now, for the Julie Mike. Uh, right, okay, so we're ready to push. Let's release the uh, parking brakes. Parking brakes released. Lining up runway zero one, departing. Parking for Zulu departure. Zero one departing Zulu departure. Okay, so engine mode selected to ignition, starting engine one. I have got uh, notable strings disconnected, that's fine. Need to check that before you uh, start throwing some hydraulic power into the aircraft. The company message has come through as well, so that's going to be our load sheet. There it is. Let's just check everything here uh, is fine. So we've got a takeoff weight 63 and a half, that's good. And takeoff weight CFG is 29.6. That's good as well. Don't need to rerun any of the uh, takeoff performance calculations. Frame rates just Ladies dropped again there. Now ask for your attention while we take your own cost of Bravo. On this aircraft. A safety oh my. In your seat pocket showing the exit routes, oxygen masks. Okay, caption that. that you must adopt if you hear brace, brace. There are two emergency exits at the rear, four in the middle, and two at the front of the cabin. Floor lighting will guide you to an exit. Please be aware that your nearest exit may <laughs> I, be. I have no words. <laughs> in an emergency, leave all cabin baggage on board. Your seatbelt is fastened, adjusted. And, and he's doing stands to Edinburgh. What? I hope he isn't. Oh. 
<laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> right, parking brakes set. Thank you, Lord. Perfect. 10 x 7 6 Echo 1. Now we're going to line up at the Conlon Reservoir. And uh, starting engine 2. Hold in place with the strap. Pull on each side to adjust. Put on your own mask before The pilot must have eaten too many pies. If we land on water, take the life jacket from under your seat. Put it over your head. Have the tape around your waist. Click together and pull the strap to adjust. Do not inflate it inside the aircraft. When outside, so I just wait for engine two to spool up. If it fails to inflate or needs topping up, blow into the tube. There is a light and whistle for attracting attention. We also carry flotation aids for children. Your tray table must now be stowed, armrest down, window blinds open, and seatbelt fastened. We wish you a pleasant flight with EasyJet. Uh, Anna, do I remember us trying to <laughs> spend 40 minutes just trying to get the nose of the steering wheel? Yes, absolutely I do. Scotty, good evening. Hey, Dr. Magic. Right, engine number two is looking good. And that's available. So, uh... And you must like to back to like normal. Try the traffic easy four Off. six four. It's taxi to runway zero one. And on the spoilers, rudder is zero, flaps one, trim. There we go. And they have to start checklist, so our anti-ice is off. Ecom service is checked, pitch trim 29.6, rudder is neutral. Um, so, so flight control check, full left, full right, try that again, full right, that's better, and neutral, full up, full down, Neutral rudder, full right, full left, and neutral. Okay, good. Engine runner traffic, Alpha 34 Alpha Mike, taxi now via Golf 4 Tango to hold the point Echo Runway 01. Tango traffic, 10 x 76 Echo Runway, departing Runway 01. And you're on a traffic runner two four zero six is lining up uh, behind the landing uh, traffic. Hey, so auto brake squawks fine. Engine bus structure is normal. We'll get the weather radars on. Zero traffic right now. Forty zero eight nine seventy eight now. Zero traffic. And take off memo. No blue. Okay. So I'm just doing that flow slowly. That is one of the new taxi clearance flows. So. Subtly different to how it used to be. That looks like a nice steep departure, doesn't it? Oh, I do this every so often. I forget. GSX hasn't buggered off, it's still there. Good engine start. Uh, for the landing, uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan now on uh, runway zero one. How many miles do you have? Yeah, we're about thirty miles out. Thirty final now, right now. Forty two right now. Okay, so in this case, uh, uh, hey Jamie, come. I use self-loading cargo for all the cabin announcements. Roger, right now, forty eight now. Well, it said it was unlocking gear. I'd not actually got a memo uh, on there telling us uh, that the nose wheel stream was disconnected. So, had that been there, I'd have probably remembered the uh, tube was down there. Four six four is holding Echo four. Oh, Doctor Magic, thank you so so much for uh, the resub for four months a Prime resub. Thank you, Doctor Magic. Of course, if you are uh, an Amazon Prime member, you can head over to Switch and you can, of course. Uh, Sub for uh, sub for free using uh, using your Amazon Prime subscription. Right, that's better. Let's go. 
I'm not setting my parking brakes, just don't walk in front of my aircraft like a numpty. Right, so a quick pets check, no change to performance, QNH, was there a 2-0 flex? Um, oh! Hang on. So what was the big threat I mentioned right at the start uh, when we were doing the brief? And that was how shattered and knackered I was and the fact I was probably going to miss something. Well, Flaps 1 and Flex 66 are neither of those have been entered. So did anyone pick up on that? There we go. Love a good pets check. Uh, there. So... Um, yeah, no change in performance now. QNH 1020, Flex 66. Engine out procedure is straight out 12 miles right turn back to the Girona VOR. Departure is uh, the Vagor 6 Golf. First turn to the right and stop climb is flight level 10. Engine 1 traffic right now, 246 is airborne, 2500. Traffic Rainer, 42 Juliet, Mark, 6 mile final, runway 01. Easy 19 of Fox, drop up in flight level 360, descending to flight level 225. Contrary to traffic, uh, easy 464, we'll wait for the Ryanair to uh, land 01. My ears must be deceiving me. Did Nick just say he was going to wait for an aircraft? Spooky. Right, I'll wait till I've turned left here, then we'll uh, on be on the nice straight and we'll do the... Uh, <clears throat> ...to the taxi checklist. Can see that traffic on final now. Alright, taxi checklist. So, flight controls have been checked. Flap setting, config 1. FMA, climb now. Blue 152, 10,000 blue. Radar and predictive wind shear are both on. ECAM memo, takeoff, no blue. And uh, EFB is disconnected. Uh, James, my screen's absolutely fine. I uh, I think the stream's having issue for some reasons tonight. There's a great little rule of thumb I can uh, share with you now, and that is when you're holding behind an aircraft, try and keep all of the aircraft within your uh, within your window. So, wingtip to wingtip, then you know you're safe. So, that'll, uh, that'll do quite nicely. Let's get that parking brake on. I'll just sit and chat amongst yourselves whilst, uh, whilst we're waiting. Ah, oh, Christopher, of course it is. <laughs> That's a nice long uh, shadow, isn't it? But, uh, that's interesting. I think that shadow is emanating from the aircraft, but the rest of it is missing. <laughs> There's no body of the aircraft. Okay, Ryanair landing. Gears down. That's uh, that's. A start. I'm the traffic. Uh, easy four six four landing at runway zero one. Looks quite nice, actually. There he goes. Well done, Mr. Ryanair. Uh, Snow, do I also find the PMDG? Ooh, try that again. PMDG 737. Uh, badly, sometimes. Uh, Neil, am I getting poor performance with FSL shell? No, no not at all. Some people seem to have, but I guess I'm j just lucky in that respect.
that is a really nice view, isn't it? Around the traffic, easy four six four, taking off runway zero one. Right, I've not heard anybody else is on finals, so what I'm going to do is I will leave it a minute and then we'll line up and take off by that point. To, to separation should uh, should be fine. Uh, Richard, good evening to you. Thank you for coming uh, on board this evening. Hope uh, you are enjoying the uh, the scenery so far, and then of course the scenery at the other end, Pisa. Right, so. Yeah, just in case an aircraft is coming in, I don't think there is, to be honest. But just start the time. I'll give it a minute, and then we'll uh, then we'll go and uh, go and line up. Say goodbye to Nick, flying a proper airline today. Uh, Retro, your EFB is not charging, and you don't know why. Well, two couple of things. Number one, make sure either the ground power is connected or the APU is turned on. It will not charge otherwise. Otherwise, where is it going to get its power from? The, uh, the aircraft are not fitted with solar powers just yet, but who knows? I wonder if a time will come. It's all about the weight, though, isn't it? Uh, Barry Bartson, good evening, uh, says, OK, I'm in the air. Time to concentrate on the EasyJet flight. <laughs> and your own traffic, Alpine 34 Alpha Mike, lining up now, runway 04 via Echo. Uh, right, so our uh, takeoff path looks fine. That's all, uh, all okay. Let's get the lights on. And uh, TCAS. Brake fans are off, anti ice is off, and pack one and two. I don't like that. Throw traffic flow. around Air Force Juliet Mike, Kentian Ramp, uh, Juliet 4, so stand 4. That flow seems Throw a little bit like, uh, like, uh, like the CRJ, it's, it, it's not intuitive. 15 miles to run, zero one. 15 miles to run, that's fine. And Alpine 3 4 off Mike is just uh, lining up now on the way 0 1 for departure. Wind shock showing us the evidence of the very light headwind. That's an interesting uh, text change on the runway, isn't it? <laughs> Clearly done some uh, some repairs. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's go. It's been a couple of minutes since Nick departed, so let's go. Do you know the traffic up on three four alpha mic is now rolling runway zero one? Departing on the Bagger 6 Golf. And take off. Start the chrono. 50% N1 set. Stable. Set take off thrust. Man flex. SRS. No runway, of course. I love a perfect headwind. Easy to keep on the centre line. V1, rotate. Nav. Hello, traffic. VPE76, Charlie, landing up on way zero one. After the autopilot, nice and early. Beautiful. Okay, set climb thrust. Thrust climb. Climb. Uh, 
Florida traffic, Crown at 354 Bravo, 10 miles uh, on Avianki, the rebel. Max Aviation on Twitch, good evening. So 5.8 miles out from Girona, we'll make that right hand turn. Girona traffic, BG76 Charlie taking off on the zero one. Just keep an eye on the uh, the temperature. A little bit of cloud cover. Hey Anna, it's gone into selector speed because we pre-selected the speed because there's a speed restriction of 215 knots in this turn that we're doing there. So we basically told the aircraft that you know we want to uh, we want to fly at clean speed. So we've just gone uh, flaps zero and disarmed the spoilers. Today's flight decor aviation Traffic is one hour. Bravo, crossing final approach, six and a half miles, zero one. Uh, ALP, with regards to a, a proper briefing, it's pretty much exactly what we do at the start of every stream. So, um, if you uh, if you go back and listen to that, you'll see the, the, the points of uh, the flight and the departure, things that uh, may, uh, may be moments of interest. Uh, but yeah, that's, that is pretty much how it's, uh, how it's done. Stutter there. Those lights look incredibly bright, don't they? Uh, Peter the ATCO has uh, <laughs> Peter Scarab. You've changed your username. Don't confuse me like that. I'm far too tight tonight for that. Peter, <laughs> thank you so much for your uh, continued support of the channel. Really do appreciate all the support you give us, Peter. Uh, and the photos you put today on the Discord, they were epic. More of the same if you can. Great to see. Um, ALP, would you go over every waypoint, for example, um, paste to the original question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, just give me one second. We've got no ATC, we're through that turn, so let's go ahead. Remember that smoking is not going to check flight 300 is going to be this fine for us. Yeah, flight 300 is fine. Coming up 10,000 feet, let's get our lights off. Don't need those. Uh, oh, don't need Africa those. Now we're just going to go to our pro performance page. Cost index is zero. We'll clear the rad nav page out. Done. Done. Secondary flight plan. Copy the active. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, happy to release the passengers as well. That's a LP, sorry, getting back to your question. When you listen to related C pilots know all the waypoints and they repeat them immediately, the direct, even if it has a difficult name, how do they do that? Practice, really, Ale, and of course, they have a good idea of where they're going. They've probably flown this uh, the routes or in into the airports multiple times, so it's um, and not only that. In the real world, you probably hear the aircraft ahead of you getting similar directs, so you're already you're kind of waiting for it. So you think, ah, oh, yeah, well, they've got the direct. I'm probably going to get something similar, so that's fine. So it's just um, 
looking ahead really there's an old old adage in aviation in that never let uh, your aircraft go somewhere that your aircraft uh, that your brain hasn't been five Should minutes sooner. Uh, to go aviation, how long did it take you to become fluent in the controls of the aircraft? Oh, I would happily say that we still learn every day. Um, but I would say probably um, to be completely familiar like uh, what, what you're seeing from a stream like today, for example, uh, between six months and a year, to be honest. And then that is when I think you are proficient. Everything is almost automatic. You know what to do. You know uh, you can anticipate things as well, which um, and it's like anything. The more you, you the more you practice anything, the more you do anything, the better you get at it, I guess. Uh, Dr. Frank, thank you for the follow on Twitch and to Felix as uh, as well. Jayhawk, how strange! You've just had a memory crash. You're trying to forget the weekend, are you? Um, Nick's getting himself a nice cup of coffee. Fantastic, Nick. Enjoy that. Let's have a look at our routing, shall we? So we can uh, show you guys where we're going. Oh, this is something that I'd love to see now. Contrails in the uh, in the sim. Peter, the ATC has got far too many points. <laughs> He's just waiting for those failures. Let me uh, import the fruit. Uh, Christopher Shaw, your temperatures, your brake temperatures now 545. Seriously, what's going on there? Was your parking brake set? Whilst uh, whilst moving. There's our route. So we're going to head up over to uh, to Monaco, Saint Tropez. Uh, and then across to uh, to Pisa. Uh, oh, Nightbot's giving false information. I can. Give me a second. I will sort that for you now. Uh, Decoy Aviation, yeah, so you find them do very imitating. I guess that's the same with any flight management computer, isn't it, when you're not used to it, but I personally find it a lot easier than Boeing's. I find menus within menus within menus um, for the Boeing one, and I just, yeah, I, I guess it's just what you're used to, isn't it? I find the, uh, I find them do quite, uh, quite easy to, uh, to navigate. Right, that's the night bot to uh, beaten into submission. Ah. Sit back, chill now. We've got uh, 10,000 feet to go. Climbing quite nicely today. James, why the 3 a.m. finish? Right, okay. So, who was on the stream? Um, last week sometime we were in the middle of a stream suddenly my poor cabin crew came in told me we had a very ill passenger and one of the children had to go to A&E immediately um, so off they trotted they were fine by the way so off they went spent four hours in A&E and uh, that was that well yesterday I was um, I was out I uh, this was about uh, half past eight last night I was out and I got a frantic phone call from uh, from my wife saying, "What well, the children had just fallen, smashed their head, gashed it wide open." Uh, one of his neighbours just happened to be around at the time, who um, who used to be uh, who uh, used to do a lot of uh, first aid, and said, "You know, unfortunately, th this cut was very very serious. It needed an ambulance, or it certainly needed hospital treatment. It wasn't something we could stop at home." Meanwhile, the carpet's just turning; uh, the carpet's getting ruined uh, as she's bleeding hideously everywhere. Uh, so, off they. I, I got a phone call. I quickly raced home. Um, my uh, my wife took said child to A and E again, second time in a week. Um, not the same child though so <laughs> that, that's something i suppose um and they got there last night at just before 10 p.m 
and they got home today at 9 a.m. 11 hours and obviously even though I was at home I was sat up uh, chatting with my wife uh, texting sending messages it was about half past three before I had to give in and, uh, and drift it off so um, so yeah it was a, a, a very stressful very late night um, made even more stressful by the fact that the, the, the only saving grace my wife said was well I've wanted a new carpet in the living room for ages and well just look now it looks like someone's been murdered on it uh, so I spent an hour and a half getting blood out of the carpet now you can't even tell it's amazing what tepid water and washing up liquid can do uh, so she was rather gutted to see that I'd managed to salvage the carpet What's the point in getting new stuff when the kids are going to wreck it anyway? So, um, yeah, that, that, that's the reason that uh, after uh, 11 hours in uh, a &E last night, my wife, God bless her, and um, spending half the night up chatting and uh, liaising with my wife, making sure everything was okay, it was uh, not, not a good night. And then, of course, as J-Hog knows, Saturday was a very long day, which started for me at about half past six, finished at around half past midnight, with uh, about 350 miles worth of driving in between as we uh, wed uh, went, went up for a, uh, to a family wedding. So it's been a busy weekend, and that's why I think I could actually just drift off to sleep if you guys weren't here. Uh, right. What, what, what went on in A&E to take that long? Dr. Magic, welcome to the NHS. It's just, uh, apparently, my wife said to the staff, you know, last week, um, they were in there for about four hours, which I didn't think work was that bad. Um, but she said to them, oh my goodness, what, what's happening tonight? Why is it, why is it, it's so bad tonight? And the, the nurse says, oh no, it's just like, like this all the time. If you were in here last week and you were only here four hours, you did very, very well. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, um, Hmm. I mean, I'm sure some of you here in the UK have got similar, similar stories with regards to uh, A and E. Well, I hope you, I hope you haven't actually. But <laughs> there you go. Uh, Max Aviation, uh, when flying, you can't see the top of climb. Where's the top of the descent? Um, that only works, of course, if you've actually programmed all of the box correctly. But there, you can see my top of climb is showing just here. Uh, I'm not in real time, but we should be there actually yeah, in a couple of minutes, and you can see we've got about 2,000 feet to go. Uh, if I scroll down, I've probably got a top of climb showing somewhere. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, top of descent. There was a waypoint there that really caught my name. Clearly, that wasn't thought through by uh, English planners. What I might do, I might put a photo in the VIP server later. Uh, a, 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 a picture of a little bit of the carpet prior to my wonderful uh, cleaning efforts. Uh, Peter, change your name due to direct order from the Danish Aviation Administration due to security concerns. Wow, okay, fair enough. I guess I can understand that. But that's, uh, yeah, that's interesting. We'll no longer call you by your second name, Peter. Uh, Mac Alt Star, here comes our top of climb. Uh, Flashing Mac is AE, same as emergency room in the uh, USA. Um, I think so. Right, top of climb, here we are. Uh, so Dark Fury says he's been in A&E with his daughter. Oh, hope she's okay, Dark. 
Well, I've seen your daughter, so hopefully she is fine now. <laughs> she, unless uh, she's been in any since I last saw. Um, Doctor Magic, your record was six hours. Yeah, but that's a length of time. Jayhawk, why doesn't it surprise you that we didn't get a new carpet? Jayhawk, you know me. <laughs> I'm not buying something that I know is just going to get ruined anyway. Uh, Max Aviation, how do you make it so you got top percent top of the climb? Uh, are, are you flying in the Phoenix aircraft, uh, Max Aviation? That would be my first uh, first question. Uh, yeah, James, everyone, everyone's absolutely fine. And, you know, she wasn't concussed or anything like that, which, given the state of her head, bless her, I mean, that's going to be a scar for life. I'm sure it is. Oh, Max, if you're in the default zone, well, yeah, you're not going to have it then, I'm afraid. No, no. Uh, James, do you put the cost index in for each of the performance pages? No, no, just for... Uh, I mean, your cost index is just the same um, for, uh, for, for the duration, so... You uh, the you only change it, and again, this is just an easy jet thing. Uh, you only change it when you're climbing, and then you just pop it back in and uh, and leave it there. There, uh, Christopher, you can't move because your brakes are on fire. I mean, as inconvenient as it is, can you turn the brake fan on and give it a while? The br the brake fans are quite good. Oh, Nick, you've started on the gin. Excellent. Peter saying that uh, being going over through all security clearances over the last three days, Nord Stream uh, has been, yeah, of course, classed as an attack on national interest. So all the security is increased, I see. Uh, DBA says, all, all is well. My record is 19 hours in Leicester Royal Infirmary a and &E. Wow, we're seen after 14 hours. We didn't get on to a ward until sitting for 19 hours in a &E. That is broken Britain, right? Uh, J-Hog, <laughs> she'll think she's a Harry Potter when she's older. <laughs> yeah, if Isaac did it, I'm sure he'd be quite happy. Uh, Christopher Shorty is now down at 300 now. Remember, he's got to get down to below 150 now. You've had the brake fans on before you can depart. It's strange. So you can depart with your brakes at um, 300. Uh, it need to be below 300 degrees C. Unless you've had your brake fans on, they need to be below 150. So you've had your brake fans on. You need to wait now until they're below 150. Uh, Jayhog, you're still waiting for the dark fruit. Oh, I will add it for you, Jayhog. Ah, hey, Nubrix. Glad to hear the airport's coming along nicely. Uh, Jayhog, have I been to Manchester today? God, no. <laughs> Far too tired to drive anywhere. Uh, Amadou just says, Canadian healthcare is not much quicker. Been off work since January. It still haven't seen a surgeon. Oh, wow. That does sound frustrating. Oh, Jay, I was at the airport pub. Um, virtually. <laughs> not in real life. <laughs> I was sat working and I was bored doing it, so I thought, I know what. I'll go and uh, try the FSLTL traffic injector and just sit there and, uh, and see what happens. Still didn't see any arriving aircraft. Uh, AT20 Geek says, hello, my runways in Microsoft Flight Simulator are not very even. Do you know what uh, the problem is? When you say not very even, you mean they're no longer f absolutely perfectly flat. Um, that's actually realistic. Very, very few runways are absolutely perfectly flat. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> redeem engine blowout. <laughs> you need a lot more points for that, Peter. Uh, Viper MB, thank you for the follow on Twitch. What temperatures are we at? Yeah, minus 43. That is exactly what the... Uh, what the OFP said it would be, so that works out quite nicely. Uh, 
Uh, and at what point I have to take off do you actually set the cost index to zero? So when you're just happy and you've been cleared to your, um, when you've been cleared up to your uh, your cruising altitude, then you can uh, then you can go ahead and set that. Nick says we should do quiz questions for points. That is a good idea, Nick. I'd need to come up with the questions though. I mean, I could lead with the one I was just talking about, brake fans. Why, when you've used the brake fans, do you have to wait until they, uh, they're showing uh, a temperature of below 150 degrees C when you can take off with brakes temperatures at 300 degrees C unless you've used the brake fan? It doesn't seem to make sense, so why is that? Uh, Neil, I use, um, I mean, I mean uh, the stream and the monitors I'm using are only 1080. The resolution. It's Fry77, thank you for the Twitch follow. Anna, when do you use anti ice? You get different anxious every time. Okay, so when the temperature is, when the TAT is below 10 degrees, the SAT is above minus 43. I'll say that again, above minus 40, sorry, not 43. So SAT needs to be above minus 40 and you're flying through visible moisture so now as you can see it's minus 43 so it's below minus 40 so we don't actually need it because it's too cold at that temperature for there to be any ice uh, uh, any real severe uh, moisture in the uh, in the atmosphere to cause an issue uh, Panos have I put it on daytime just to see the scenery yeah that is correct Uh, A320, no that's not what you meant, when you touch down on the runway you get kicked back into the air since Sim Update 10. I don't know what it is and uh, and the landings aren't bad. A320 Geeks, if you're on our Discord server, it might be worth popping a video in there, see what's, uh, see what's going on. Christian Taco says, nice to see Girona, your uh, kind of second home airport, you live near Barcelona, but you just run a few times um, to fly the Irish shop. <laughs> we know what you mean, Christian. So the sun will be starting to head down. Yeah, I love those clouds. Those just easy fluffy clouds. In just a few moments, we'll commence our in-flight service, offering you the chance to purchase a selection of hot beverages together with drinks and snacks from the bar. We accept payment in pounds, euros, most major currencies and debit or credit cards. The correct change would be greatly appreciated. And if we can be of any further assistance, then just ask us as we join you in the cabin shortly. Right, go ahead and redeem your uh, food, your tea, your alcohol. I've never seen it all by champagne yet. Um, David Bonas, I've wondered this for a while. The different airlines have varying standard operating procedures relating to how far out the gear is lowered. Some seem to leave it until the outer marker and some long before. David, there's no real answer to that. It's pilot's discretion. Um, you need to be stabilised by a thousand feet, so that would be the absolute latest, though I'm sure most pilots don't leave it that late. Um, if you find the gears coming out early, chances are it's to slow the aircraft down. They may have been kept high by air traffic control and they need to get down. Obviously the aircraft picks up speed as it descends, so throwing the gear out is just a way of slowing the aircraft down. And um, yeah, the, the, I mean, the gear is an amazing speed brake. So um, that's, uh, that is indeed po possibly why some, uh, some flights you see in it come out quite uh, quite early uh, Peter ATCO has gifted five years yet uh, Zim pilot channel memberships Peter <laughs> you're just trying to build those points about you Peter I am s thank you so so much your support honestly is absolutely amazing Peter you, I mean you're the leader of the points board anyway uh, so there's no danger about uh, you being caught there thank you Peter for that so uh, welcome to uh, Neil welcome to Ferraz Alk Chocolate as well Gary Dunn and Steve College welcome to the channel. Remember, if you're on our Discord server, don't forget to go ahead and uh, join the Members Lounge. Thank you so much, Peter. Christian says it's loud on Milan radar. 
<laughs> oh, are they online? Oh, excellent. We might get some ATC coming in. Right, in that case, I'm not going to leave it late to brief the arrival. Uh, let's go through and uh, <clears throat> see what we've got, shall we? Uh, so, let's have a quick look. Check our arrival out. So, I'm expecting Kona 3 Lima. Comes in via Jesse. On Piv. Let's try that out. Kona. Jesse. On Piv. That looks uh, good. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Should be there in about half an hour, actually. So that's fine. Uh, Radnav page. We're going to pop in here. The P's of VOR, of course. Um, do do do. Yeah, nothing. Uh, nothing else. I'm gonna. Uh, that I need to pop in there. Onto our progress page. Pop in the arrival. Uh, actually, just go into the flight pad page. I'll tell you what I will do as we're coming in. If we might get a direct straight in, something like that. I forgot the uh, ICL code. What's it? to my radius around that. Uh, that's fine, so progress, I, R, P, uh, zero four right, 193 miles, we'll get some weather in a little bit, I believe it's uh, cat one, so let's just have a quick look at the chart. Um, two thirty. Time to go to the dentist. Fill this out in a second. Fuel two point seven when we get there, and uh, just have a little look. Is there any speed restrictions or anything like that on our arrival? Don't believe there is, but at Jesse we want to be one eighty, so we'll just go ahead and tidy that up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, high level cloud. Which is a shame, because I bet if we have a quick look down there, we uh, might have sights of uh, Monaco. I'm not sure if we'll see Nice, somewhere like that. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, Peter was knocked off the top by uh, by Abed last, uh, last week. Uh, Ron, could you still fly this jet if you're in mid-air with one of the engines failing? Yes, absolutely, of course. This, uh, this aircraft could not only fly, it could even depart with one engine. So, yeah, no problem. Uh, Anna, FA319, what's the cost index? Uh, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. So, is there any PISA ATC or anything like that? Tower is online, 191. Just make a quick note of that. Yeah, hand it over to those a little bit later on. So let's uh, get the latest weather for Pisa, see what's happening. So, winds 170 at 3. That is the lightest of all crosswinds. <laughs> Q&H 1020. Change that as here. There we go. Well, it was the same as where we departed, actually. And the temperature is 17 degrees. Lovely. 
Uh, right, time for the arrival brief then. If we're um, if we're all good and ready, uh, Barry, <laughs> thank you for your uh, your kind uh, five euro super chat saying this is a top five super chat for boy enthusiasts. <laughs> Wrong channel, Barry. <laughs> Do appreciate that. Thank you for your support, Barry. Um, right, arrival brief. So, as we've just seen, weather at our uh, destinations tonight. Pisa is uh, nothing to be concerned about. Very light crosswind. 170 at 3. Um, cab okay. Temperatures healthy. Runway condition will be fine. Uh, aircraft is still fully serviceable. Nothing has broken. No no times for our arrival. Just worth noting as well. We are unfamiliar with this. So, uh, quick chat about the threats. There, well, unfamiliarity is probably going to be one of the biggest ones. So, um, we have got a uh, threat on the ground. Of uh, being unfamiliar with it just because we need to vacate and then it's important to point this out runway 04 left is to be used as a taxiway so the idea being we vacate Charlie Delta whatever um, in fact I am just gonna check in fact no I don't I've, I've spoken about that. I'll uh, go through the tax briefing in a moment. But yeah, just to be aware that um, we will turn onto a runway, uh, so don't get uh, don't get caught out by that. Uh, other threats to be aware of then is the terrain straight to the north of the airfield. Of course, this is where the go-around procedure could catch us out. Look at the MSA. Um, we've got 9,000 uh, feet if we have to go around. Where is it? 2,700 feet as we're um, as we're coming in. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, essentially just the. the, the Threats that we need to uh, need to mention. Lots of traffic as well. So um, let's hope ATC are, uh, are still there when we get there. So we're expecting Robbie 04 right corner three at Lima arrival. Our idea will be to be at least flaps one and um, one eight zero knots by Jesse, and um, that will then uh, lead us nicely to uh, just get flaps two out as we. Uh, Continue down the local lines, intercepting glide slope, etc. So that's how we're going to approach. Approach type is a normal ILS, three degree uh, glide slope, so nothing out of the ordinary uh, there. We've seen it's going to be cat one, so I'm going to move two, three, zero. And the platform altitude is two. 2,000 uh, 2, feet. We're going to use auto brake low and let's just go ahead and do that before I forget. Oh, look at that. We can see uh, the low sun is now coming in. I think that might be Nice down there that I can, uh, that I can see. Yeah, there's Nice. What a great view. Uh, yeah, so auto brake low. Now, let's have a quick look at the arrival that I was talking about. Uh, a couple of other things I just want to check. Uh, so for right, yeah, so Pap is also 3 degrees and it's 45 meters. So let me just have a quick look at the taxi. Tango would be a good place to vacate, which is uh, near the end, isn't it? Delta and then uh, Delta and Echo. Let me just see if there is any arrival information regarding this. As I say, I've not been here before or I have maybe once. So let's brief the taxi properly. Um, yeah, not there. No LVPs. Grand and This is all for LDP stuff. Poor visibility, reduced visibility. Contingencies. RVR failure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shouldn't happen tonight. Test procedures, 04 left is used as a taxiway and was for right is in use, as in tonight. Um, jet blast, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. ATC will tell us where to park. Orderly, orderly movement of traffic to front aprons. For, yeah, because this airport does share a base with the Italian Air Force as well. Uh, only one pushback per time is allowed. Runway operations, runway operations, looking for anything after arrivals. Runway operations is just close distance, only one airport is used at a time. Uh, sorry, one runway is used at a time, that's fine. Uh, 
Tracking information. Uh, actually, it actually doesn't say very much. Right, in that case, then, uh, I'd be quite, be quite happy to roll out all the way to Delta. Uh, so, do you know what? We're, it's nearly three kilometres. I'm not going to use any auto brake. We're just going to let the aircraft uh, either reverse or slow itself down and use manual braking as we, uh, as we get there. And then, after we have vacated on Delta, we'll obviously be on uh, the frequency there for, right, for the ground. Then, Delta straight across and then we'll be told where to park. Let's just talk a little bit about the go around procedure in case we need that as well. So as you can see we mentioned a little bit of terrain. Proceed on runway heading to 400 feet then we make a left turn heading 278 with a max speed of 190 knots so that's going to be flaps 1. Um, and we fly ahead to Babnu. Now let me just double check that flaps 1 is going to be fine for that. Yes it, uh, it is. It's getting dark. Let's put some, uh, let's put some lights on shall we? Um, Peter, <laughs> thank you, Peter, uh, for uh, another duration with the uh, other oh, BAE one four six. Ah, do you know I, how much time would it actually turn me to, take me to learn that? Time is something I just don't have a lot of. That's the issue. I mean, if it's anything like the uh, CRJ, then God help us. <laughs> that was that was in uh, that was interesting. Still in a field somewhere. Uh, Kithrik on uh, Twitch, no auto brake. Yeah, no, no. You don't need auto brakes uh, on every single landing that you do. You know, when you've got a runway that's three kilometres long, then there's no need for it. And remember, if you can slow yourself down using just uh, your reverse idle, and obviously normal ground friction spoils etc then that is a lot less wear and tear on those brakes and, uh, and things which airlines love you for right so anything you can to save a bit of money those colors are absolutely amazing almost almost like rainbow colors aren't they hey parks is the a320x good it is absolutely amazing yeah definitely uh, oh, Peter, you are offering to uh, teach us the uh, the 146. You never actually flew it, did you, Peter? As it uh, self-study, which of course would be uh, more than enough. I'm just checking you never actually flew. Hey, Ian. Hey, Paula. moments we'll commence our in-flight service offering you the chance to purchase a selection of hot beverages together with drinks and snacks from the bar we accept payment in pounds euros most major currencies and debit or credit cards the correct change would be greatly appreciated and if we could be of any further assistance then just ask us as we join you in the cabin shortly ah peter you've got inside knowledge that uh, that sounds like a good way to go What's happening on Milan radar? I'm kind of uh, looking forward to getting there. <laughs> How far are we away till we go on to uh, Milan radar? Let me uh, just have a look at the OFP. Uh, Tutti Fruits, how does the Euro control VATSIM sectors work? Yeah, so I think they control up to flight level 240. Once you're above that, you need to, uh, you need to contact them. Oh, no need to look. Looks like they want to speak to me. Right, this uh, this could be fun. One, two, seven, four, five. Right, guys, we've got some ATC. It's time to get serious. Hello. Roger, one, three, four, decimal six. Could you please say again the flight level? Three, zero, zero. Three hundred, correct. Okay, one three four decimal six, descending flight level three zero zero. America nine seven two three, thank you so much. Milan radar, Alpine three four off mic flight level three hundred inbound Osmic. Alpine two nine two zero, report to Ryan McKay, thank you. Report Ryan McKay, Alpine two nine two zero. 
Lord of Easy Four Six Four, Chris Keithen. Oh, good Lord of Seven Navigation Display. Uh, Station One Forty Seven. Easy Four Six Four. Easy Four Six Four, Comer Three Lima Rail. We'll expect our uh, area. Uh, sorry, ILS Two for right. Descent like level one one zero. Uh, Turn 3 Lima, 4 zero, 4 right, descent to flight level 110, uh, easy 4 Radar, good evening, Alpine 34, Alpha Mike, Type A320, flight level 300, inbound, Osmic. 204. Two station calling, stand by, break, Skyways 3843, miss approach, 134, decimal 475, travel. Miss approach, 134, 475, standard 3845. Bye bye. I just wait for him to contact me unless I ask for a descent in a little while. We're nearing our top of descent actually. Standard 99912, step aside, let's do 04 right. Roger, Pizza Tower, 1191, ciao. 1191, great job, good night. Is that a contrail directly in front of us? Easy 1928, ready for start up and pushback. Easy one and two eight uh, push a start was approved before. Just call me for taxi. Thank you. Break Ryanair five one eight eight. I have the clearance. Ready to copy. Ready to copy Ryanair five one eight eight. Clear to destination. Coming to Peleg six Lima. Runway one two. Initial climb altitude five thousand. We may have to contact him again. Yeah. Uh, one thousand. Clear to Comiso via Peleg six Lima. Runway one two. Initial climb the five thousand. Stroke one thousand. Ryan five one eight eight. Oh, this is a busy channel. Milan Radar, Alpine 34 Alpha Mike, Type A320, flight level 300, inbound corner. Alpine 34 Alpha Mike, Milano, Charles at 1000. Squawk 1000, Alpine 34 Alpha Mike. Alpine 290, Alpine Radar, Buenos Sera, you ring to Echo Victor, flight level 2754. And we're now high. Ring to Echo Victor, Milano Radar, Charles at one time. Ladies and gentlemen, before we find out once again, you will be delighted to hear that we will shortly be starting our descent into our destination. Good evening, Milano. I hope so. Flight level 300, direct Conair. Uh, easy 31 Milan Radar, Charles set squawk 5415. Squawk 5415, easy 221. Hopefully he's got us on radar now. We are squawking 1000, aren't we? Yeah. And Alpine 34 Alpha might request descent. Alpine 34 Alpha Mike and Milan Radar Roger, uh, Corner 3 Lima Arrival, expect ILS Zulu for right and descent at level 110. Corner 3 Lima Arrival, expect zero for right, Zulu ILS approach and descend flight level 110, Alpine 34 Alpha Mike. Airbus 92 Lima Milan Radar, continue descend at level 90, be careful and responsive via far. Uh, thrust idle, yeah, and open descent, flight level 110 one zero blue. And for information, our response is VFR in the next area. That is copy, 892 Lima. Skyways 142, NIS approach 134, decimal 475, ciao. Approach 134, decimal 475, Skyways 142, thank you, ciao. Milano, mm -hmm. good evening, 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 good Station calling, climbing 350, Turkish SM1, Chalotal. I guess I got this dude. Not even I can get a word in here, to you guys, let alone anything else. Yeah, Here we go. Much, sir, Con, Said we were going to get a nice uh, sunset approach, didn't I? Thankfully the sun will be behind us, so it won't be in our eyes. Okay, we need to wind that speed up and get down. Climbing 350, direct uh, Lima Alpha, Bravo, Indian November, Charlie. Hey, you all, how are you doing, mate? Milano from uh, Rhine, India, second Fox and Fox, ready for departure. We are at the holding point, Charlie Alpha, running to the right. 
Ready for the bottom, you know, radar, radar, runway 3 for right, clear for takeoff, wind 0 to 0 degrees, fine off. Clear for takeoff, we're in the runway 2 for right, and in the attack, first and first. Well, the weather really does look very beautiful. Hardly any clouds. 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 Oh, I'm going to have to use some speed brakes, I think. I'm not going to be able to just rely on speed alone. And by the way, all the pilots uh, which are members of the group flight from uh, Easy Justin Pilot, northbound, even southbound odd. Easy 2 to 1 Milan Radar descent level, 130 corner, 3 Lima arrival at the group for right. Descent flight level 130, Easy 2 to 1. Very busy. Christopher, that's exactly right. Yeah, throw the gear out. <laughs> that's uh, we were talking about this a little bit earlier on, weren't we? About uh, why you get the gear out early. <laughs> I'm just says it's like an auction house. <laughs> right, radar, good evening again. Skyways 142. Skyways 142, you must contact 134475, not with them. 134475, Skyways 142, good evening. Really is busy though, isn't it? It kind of adds to the immersion. Alright. Time to kill some fairies. We're just not catching up. We are slowly. Go on, let's have another 10. Siete praticamente decollati prima senza completa uh, autorizzazione, senza aver verificato che c'erano controllori online. And if we continue with this, uh, we might get down. Oh, yeah, we might get down in the next 5-10 uh, miles. So, uh, have a look. Keep an eye on things. We're starting to catch up now. There we go. Si figuri, ma quando c'è un controllore, se non è spazio classe Golf o non controllato, if you're enjoying the flight, guys, please, please don't forget to hit the like button on the stream. It makes a massive difference to the channel, it really does. So, thank you to everyone who's just done that. <laughs> PT, you can feel the ears popping. I mean, what are we at? 4,200? That's fine. That's fine. 6,000. You'd, you'd start to feel it. Job done. Speed breaks away. Stand by, I need to talk in Italian, guys. Sierra Kilo Victor, Sierra Kilo Victor. Bounty, I saw you asking about Super Thanks. So Super Thanks is like a donation, like a super chat, but they are for pre-recorded videos or streams that have gone in the past. You can, uh, you don't do them on live streams. They are for, say, if you found uh, some uh, some guy's video really okay, useful, you uh, can uh, leave a leave a comment zero. there with the donation. And it's like super thanks, but well, for thank pre-recorded, uh, for, but for recorded hey, videos. Let's get this passenger strapped in, I think. Milano in the Charlie Papa, ready for departure 35 right. In the Charlie Papa, Milano Radar, runway 35 right, Lanatan Way. 
Tri pe Vrașa Arena pe noi să termine acea lipap? Îi ziceați Team Pilot, Twitch Prima, un YouTuber, I don't know, but it's the way. Continuă de San Fortadon Fit, că în HP sau 1-0, nu se iau transition la urță, nu 0. Continue to send 4,000 feet, I'll find 3,4 Alpha Mike. Did he just call me by my streamer name? He's 1928, send him back for taxi, please. Okay, QNH 1020 and 4,000 blue. Easy 464, Milano Radar, continue to send 3000, turn left 070, clear the LRS to blue for right, please, report established. Turn 3000, turn left 070, and report established as easy 464. Right, look at this. So, I'm at 30 miles out, I'd like to be about 10,000 feet if I'm coming straight in and. Check those track miles, we've got... What? 36. This could be interesting, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Barry, thank you fine. Thank you so, so much for uh, continued support. Another five pounds of chat from Barry. This is a super thanks work around. Barry, thank you, my friend. Two station calling Milano Radar, stand by. Skyways 1260, frequency. Profiles tell me it's okay. actually looking uh, looking okay. Right, approach checklist. Barrel ref one zero two zero. Seatbelt signs are on. Minimums two three zero set. Uh, auto brake not required. So off. EFB is stowed. Hey Henrix on Twitch. Okay, let's start slowing ourselves down. Easy, one hundred two eight. Taxi to the point. Bravo for right by a nice Sarah Bravo. Taxi to holding point. Bravo by a Mike Sarah Bravo. Easy nineteen twenty-eight. India Charlie Papa runway three for right. Clear for takeoff. Wind zero one zero degrees. Sign off. Three for right. Clear for takeoff. Wind zero Charlie Papa. Easy chat. Team pilot, YouTuber, three four Alpha Mike, Milan Radar, continue to send three thousand feet. Continue to send three thousand. I'll fly in three four Alpha Mike. Easy two two one, Milan Radar, continue to send four thousand feet. Can HP the sound just a one zero two zero transition level seven zero and. I can't talk to you guys too much. Just listening. Just listening and checking as we go. Easy the Easy The area is identified. Start slowing ourselves. 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 Start slowing Sierra Kilo Vito 700, riporta Porto di Panomocco, QNH è 1020. 1021, vi ho detto prima, confermate dopo Chioggia. Airport is there. Riporterò dopo Chioggia. And there's the terrain that we spoke of. Ok, no, non serve che riportate perché non ho sotto la copertura radar, per cui procedete pure come la programma. Grazie, scusa il disguido. Di nulla. Track Skyward 16 Mike Lima, Miss Approach 134475, ciao. 134475, vabbè, 161. 191 is the next frequency we're gonna need. Easy Jet Steam Pilot YouTuber 3405 Mike Milan Radar, turn left 070, descent 3000, clear dial, uniform right, report the establishment. Left heading 070, continue to send 3000, clear dial, let's approach 04, right, help on 3405 Mike. Easy to two one, reduce to enable speed at two one zero knots. Reduce speed two one zero, easy two two one. And the turn right two two zero, sorry. 
Fox 1, speed, check Fox 1. In the one. Halipapa Milan radar identify the time 06, continue climb, flight level 110. Continue climb at level 110, India 39 Halipapa. Milano radar, good evening, Alpine 342 Alpha, with you, flight level 370. Just going to need to increase that rate of descent a little bit, I think. Otherwise, Asphalt, uh, I'm not going to get the localizer. And glide slope to a line. So we've got 13 miles out at the moment. There's our airport. Easy to two one Milan radar, continue descend at three thousand feet, turn uh, right zero one zero, number two, clear dial to two for right report the station. Cabin crew. Turn right heading zero one zero to send three thousand feet, easy two two one. Let's uh, get down. We've got all glass slope lock blue. We're in over to set at the uh, moment. Uh, just want to touch. Touch more. Just bring that glass slope uh, in. All right. Ready. Flaps 2. Speed to check. Flaps 2. Taking off immediately. Uh, 1928. Thank you. That looks good. Uh, Berlin 9 to Lima, let us medium approach speed, the traffic departing, runway for right, uh, wind is coming. Minimum approach speed, Berlin 9 to Lima. Platform altitude is 2000, we have been cleared, so technically we could continue down to 2000 feet if we need it. Oh, there we go, glass slope star, lock star. Mr. Approach altitude is 2500. Sorry guys, I've not been watching the chat, I've been concentrating on getting uh, this ILS captured, making sure it all works well, and it has, so I'm happy. Oh, my three, four, off. Mike established runway zero four right eight miles. Hand off to the tower. Two thousand five hundred. Turn those on now. Everybody nine to Lima fully established uh, ILS zero four right. Has he handed it off to the tower or not? Sango, I didn't think he had. The time three four five Mike. Thank you very much for flight today in Italy, and uh, hope to see you soon. Pizza Tower one one one. Ciao. Over to the tower. Thanks for great service. I'll find three four half Mike. Good night. Easy to. Tower I'll find three four half Mike. Establish runway zero four right six miles. Alpine 3 for Alpha Mike, Pisa Chao, wind 160 at 3, 0 right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 0 4 right, Alpine 3 for Alpha Mike. Uh, HD, don't worry, my friend. The. Uh, Landing gear goes down around about six miles. The signs don't go blue until the cabin crew have uh, sorted themselves out, as you see, they have fully stabilized by a thousand feet. Job done. Landing checklist cabin is secured. Go around altitude 2500 feet. Said he can memo landing no blue. 1000 1, feet. Ah, literally pushed everything to the limits, then got everything in. But to be honest. It worked. Pizza Tower, easy 221 is with you, establish 04 right. It just worked easy, out exactly as we wanted it to. Right, right. all the power is connected, I have control. Continue approach number two, easy 221. That's interesting. Not had that issue before.
500. Stable. I'm going to have to make it daylight to get after we parked up and landed on it so we can check out this scenery. Minimum. Continue. Slight tailwind now. 100. I'm convinced that the pappies and glide slope are correct, but 50 over the piano pickies would be nice. There we go. 40, 30, 20, retard. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't good. Anyway, I suppose it's deployed. There's green, diesel. Roll right to the end. Point three four Alpha Mike, welcome to Pisa Taxi Stand number five one via Delta to to right, Foxtrot and Papa. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain. Taxi stand five one via Delta to to right, Fox and Papa. Alpha three five Mike. We ask that you remain seated until. Easy two two one wind one six zero three zero four eight zero nine. Portable electronic devices. Please land zero four eight. Easy two two one. Access may now be used. Please make sure that you take all your personal belongings with you. Checking in the seat pocket underneath the seat. The um. In the overhead boxes. Plus twenty six. Do take care when opening the locker. Fantastic. The actual landing wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm not quite sure what self-loading cargo was playing at. It definitely wasn't that bad. I wouldn't have been screaming. Our ground crew will help you complete your EasyJet journey. For the latest news, promotions, flight and destination information, check out our official Facebook page, Twitter, or EasyJet app. Just check where we're going here. So we are uh, taxiing now across here. Then we're taking uh, Foxtrot. So we need to take a left here. Oh man, Toga Daz, absolutely quite right. Didn't <laughs> did not deserve screams. James says he's been in harder landings and no one screamed. <laughs> well, stick with us, because I am going to uh, bring the lights up, so to speak, a little bit. And then... Uh, we'll check out the new scenery as well. So on to Foxtrot now. Uh, sorry, I just saw someone asking you about the lights in the chat. It's because this isn't a default airport. It's a new scenery that was released uh, not that long ago. Right, so the military apron is to the left. We're not going that way, of course. Uh, we're taking Foxtrot and then Papa. So that's over to the left in a moment. I mean, well, would you use the uh, 32 uh, NX every so often? Yeah. I'm oh, not the airport, the city itself. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I wasn't watching. I was concentrating on the uh, on the landing. Definitely beer and bedtime after this, though. So, if we get GSX up, stand 51, did he say? Did we miss a taxiway by some point? Didn't think we had, but we must have. Yeah, 
is it two to one one to two pizza taxi stand the five three via delta two to right foxtrot and papa Alright, uh, so Dan 51 is, is the right. next one, here he is. Is it the one uh, you have overshot the XT-01 backtrack approved right on Delta? Uh, backtrack approved right on Delta, easy 251. See how uh, good the parking is then today. It's usually absolutely rubbish. GSX never tells me that we've done a good parking. Seems like we are a long way away from where he wants us to, uh, to stop, but. Okay. Right. Parking brakes on, engines one and two shut down, and. Oh, this is new. Uh, guys, I can't pan round. This is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> For some reason, I couldn't pan around just then. It's a bit weird. Uh, right, so they're on. Let's get those off. See what signs can come off as well. Beacon light off and. Is it 2 to 1? You are missing everything. Delta is at the, at the beginning of 2 to left. Uh, turn right and now join. I haven't turned that off as well. Right, shall we have a little look at the uh, at the scenery itself? Oh dear, there's a fellow company EasyJet that's getting lost on the ground. Always brief the taxi if you get a chance. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Just bring the, that sun back up and check out this scenery. Now, Pisa again. It's uh, an airport that is a real-world, uh, real-world destination for EasyJet. And wow, you really do have to be banging line. That that can't be there in real life, can it? How dangerous would that be? <laughs> uh, let's go and have a look. So yeah, welcome to uh, Pisa. And of course, there's Leaning Tower in the background. And oh, uh, oh, Ryan Air and Ryan Air and Lufthansa. That's uh, oh, a little baby Irish German in front of the U-boat sign. Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> couldn't make it up, could you? Oh, it's great to get another venue on the EasyJet map being handcrafted. Oh, what's going on with this car down here? <laughs> oh, there's some serious... <laughs> that's... That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it when stuff like that happens? Yeah, but another great airport that's got handcrafted. So this is the military terminal down here. Uh, I might just go and have a look and, uh, and see what, uh, what we've got there. So if you prefer flying uh, on the military side, then this is again a great air, uh, a great airport. So you need to go ahead and get because, uh, well, as you, can, as you can see, everything's uh, everything's there. The one thing I don't get with this airport um, was just the, uh, the the building of it. So the two runways are too close together for both of them to be used simultaneously. It's either one or the other, so you can't use uh, you, you can't use both. Which strange, uh, strange way to build an airport. Oh. oh, something, something terrible happened over there. Let's head back to the main terminal. <laughs> Unless says we even get realistic Italian road traffic. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic on the road over there. That looks, uh, oh, that looks nice. That looks neat. That's impressive. That is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, 
If suddenly the airport had been flooded and cars were being washed away, etc., that would be incredibly realistic. Let's have a quick look inside the terminal, see if we've got anything in, uh, in these ones. Uh, oh, we do! We love Tuscany. I think that might be it, to be honest. Yeah. That was okay. Oh, a little, 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 little bit more. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Well, welcome to Pisa, guys. Another airport which has been given the handcrafted treatment. Uh, and I do like that. I wonder if there will ever be a way for uh, clocks to show the correct time in um, in the sim. We can obviously the digital clocks, that's fine, but the uh, actual fingered hand-faced uh, clocks showing the right time. There's a few knocking around, um, but sadly, of course, they're just they're just static. Uh, we speak your language, all of them. Who's that advertising? Is it advertising uh, Old Bridge Airways? I thought it was advertising the vaccine ATC just then. Air Arabia, New York Cafe, Buelling. Oh, Beth, yes, very nice. I like yeah, I do like this. Right, guys. Well, that is us done. Thank you so... Oh, wow. Well, the Stark Fury just landed. Well, as we're saying, guys, thank you so much for uh, flying with us today. Really hope you've enjoyed the stream this uh, evening. Our long flight between new, two new scenery destinations. Big thank you to those of you who have donated and contributed to the channel's so upkeep during our flight today. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Huge shout out, as always, go to our Easy Jets and Ballot channel members, and a big thank you to the mods as well for your continued support. I look forward to chatting with you all on the Discord server. I am now going to take the first officer out for a very quick walk, and it is most certainly time for an early night. Hope you've had a great evening, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Good night.